Hey RNL fam, welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new here, smash the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell because we post three videos every single week. Current situation, Hurricane Milton has become a category five insanely strong hurricane. Um, we live in Tampa, well just outside of Tampa. Thank goodness we don't live close to the water. We're not in a mandatory evacuation zone, but this hurricane is coming straight for us. It's gonna have very strong winds. So right now we are trying to button down the hatches. I've got the wood out, I'm closing up the windows, and then we're gonna try to get everything to where uh, we can stay in the house safe. We've got about a day and a half, two days until the hurricane actually hits. All the supplies at Walmart, and I'll put some pictures from last night where I went supply hunting, all the supplies at Walmart are completely gone. All the gas, completely gone from all gas stations around us. I mean, even if people did wanna leave, they're kinda stranded because there's no gas to get out of here if you if you don't have a full tank of gas, you know? Here is our bathroom window, so I'm almost finished boarding that one up. And then I'm gonna finish boarding up all of our bedroom windows, and that's gonna be like our hunker down spot, our safe spot here. We have a portable AC unit. We do got some Gatorades and waters up there. The fridge is completely stocked. The freezer too, so. I've been freezing water bottles. So that way, in case we do lose power, um, we're able to put those frozen water bottles around in the fridge in different spots and it helps keep your food uh, better a little longer because you only have a couple days to eat that stuff. And then we do have some, you know, non-perishable foods that we'll be able to deal with. I have my grill for cooking, which doesn't need power. I do have the generator, which I need to start up and make sure it still runs because we haven't used it in years. Um, and then I also have some spare gas over here that I was able to get. Right now, it's getting pretty nasty outside. Um, I have to hurry up and try to finish up these windows before it gets too bad. All right, so Rachel's worried about the front door because when she was a kid during a hurricane, the front door, they had to like hold it closed. So I'm gonna board up the front door as well. We have the extra wood, so why not? Before it starts raining, I'm gonna wheel out the generator and make sure it's still working. All right, we're good. The external battery pack is fully charged. That holds 90,000 milliamps, so that can keep our phones and tablets and computers charged for days. These are charged, and then all my Ryobi batteries are charged. So we've got plenty of light. I've got a spare propane tank in case we need to cook on the grill. All right, so I'm also filling up all the bathtubs in the house, as you can see. One thing you can do whenever the water actually shuts off, use the water in those bathtubs to fill up the toilet tops, and then you can still flush the toilets. If you go weeks without water and power, it's really difficult and I've been through that before when I was younger um, in my hometown. Yeah, you kind of learn these things as you go, but we should be pretty prepared, guys. Good morning, Arno fam. Okay, so today is the day of the hurricane. Rachel just washed Lillian's hair, so we're making sure everybody is nice and clean and hydrated and things like that before we start losing power and water. Hi, Arno fam. Okay, so I know some of you guys were, oh, you want to say hi, Lillian? Hello. So. It is a hurricane storm, baby. So we are trying to get ready for the storm. Uh, it's hitting as a cat four, they said this right. time. Category. Um, Category. It's cat five right now, and mm. it has not let up. It did shift a little bit of south, but we are expected to see 19 to 24 inches of rain and almost 100 miles an hour gust of winds, which is still extremely high. Um, we decided to hunker down because we are not in evacuation zone. And, and the storms typically tend to move south. One time we did evacuate and we got hit. Right. <laughs> Where we went. Where we went. <laughs> what do you want to show them? Whoa, did you make that? Yeah. Whoa, what's it called? It's called it five dim. One, two, three, four, five. He called Ooh. a pentagon. And pentagon. Yeah, it's called <laughs> you. That's so cool. You want to show them? Yeah, it's called you all the code. Can they see it's through it? Great. Wow, can't believe you made that. Just that's so cool. You have a water can. So right now we are making breakfast, and just say I wanted to crack the eggs. Close the hands ready and split like this. Pull it apart. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We're gonna get the shell out. I know some of you guys probably wondering why we didn't evacuate. We are not in evacuation zone, so it was instructed for us to hunker down now. The people who um, do need to evacuate need the hotels available, need the gas available, need the roads available. I absolutely hate night storms. Why does it feel like storms always come at night? It can never be during the daytime. It's scarier at night. It's so much scarier. <laughs> like you hear so much noise. You don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and we're gonna finish up the rest of the day. 
And yeah, pray for us guys. This is it's been over a hundred years since Tampa has been hit by a major hurricane like this. In today's the day, that is what happens. Absolutely wild. So we got a good couple of hours before the storm really starts rolling in. Winds are just picking up a little bit now. Um, it's definitely raining all day. So last night I was able to get outside and finish up the windows that are on like 12 o'clock at night because we looked at the weather and it was like starting at 2 a.m. It's just going to be raining nonstop. So this is Lillian's room. We boarded up this window because this window right here has a crack in it. Lucas didn't board up these windows because these are actually hurricane windows. You can see the double panel and it could um, take an impact of 150 miles an hour. All right, so I'm digging a, a swell. So basically I'm cutting a channel in our grass okay. to make the water go down the hill so we don't flood. Okay, so it has been a couple hours since we checked in last year. Um, trench is holding up really well. The storm is getting here right about now. We're getting some really intense gusts. As you can see, it's starting to come in really hard. Um, it's about 4.45 right now. I think they said the storm isn't actually supposed to hit until about five o'clock, so this isn't even the full force of it yet. Prayers go out to everybody that's on the coast right now because I know they are feeling it, and I know that storm surge is coming, and it's gonna be devastating. I hope everybody got out. I pray everybody got out. Um, we're gonna keep you guys updated here and let you guys know as much as we can. If you haven't been following, we're posting like shorts and reels a lot quicker than YouTube videos, obviously, because these take editing. Hey, but, uh, fam, it is 11 o'clock at night here and they said the worst of it was supposed to be over, but it has been getting crazier, to be honest. Um, water level's getting super high in the lake and the wind has just been whipping, like look at this. It has been just throwing this fan around whipping everything around on our carport ripped our screens we've got a, a a tree down that we can see some street signs down and uh yeah i can't believe like we see transformers popping in the distance so i'm gonna go in lillian's room and see if i can show you Dude, you can literally see it. Oh my gosh. They lied, it's not 51. It is like, it is like a raining in our patio. Look, where's the tree? That tree, right there. It's down. Oh no. Oh, oh. You see it coming out, it's like coming straight out our window. The kids are currently asleep in the closet. They uh, they fell asleep in there cozy. Honestly, with that door closed in that closet, me and Rachel forgot there was even a hurricane going on and then when we came out of the closet after they fell asleep, it is absolutely wild. We still have power, as you can tell, which a lot of our neighbors that we've contacted don't have power anymore and we can see transformers popping in the distance, but I don't think we're gonna have power much longer as they flicker. Wish us luck through the night. I think me and Rachel are gonna go in the closet right now and kind of hunger down, get safe, and uh, see you guys in the morning. Love you guys. So we just drove to the playground after the storm and as you can see, look, the entire uh, shade awning fell down again, just like in the last storm. Ugh, it's so expensive. All right, so we're walking around now, checking the damages. Lots of trees down. They did have the tree company come and cut a bunch of stuff down before, so I think that helped a lot. The water level in here is completely full, if you can see that. I can't believe how much water we got. That is normally bone dry. That's not a lake, that's just the, the forest. I mean, you can see, look at the, there's trees down, look. Right here too, there's another one, in the, a ton of them in the forest fell. Another one here too, this one's down. Josiah, look at the tree! That's insane, Josiah. That's cool, you can see the roots, like all the roots. Normally there's like the little cylinders there where the water can get through to the other side. They're completely underwater. The water came above the lake level and then started filling up the entire forest and that's why we can see like all the forest line is just full of water, which I think is good because it saved our house because it didn't keep rising up towards our house. Look at that, look how close we were to coming up into our property. This tree was completely on land before the hurricane, so it dumped so much rain. This one got uprooted and fell. All right, the kids are gonna go check out the trench that we dug. See how that held up? 
Man, we uh oh alligator right there, wait, wait, wait. right on the land. Oh shoot! It's alligator right there. right there, looking at us. Right there. And we got some screen damage here. A couple of roof panels that ripped out here. Wow, guys! All right, so besides all the trees that fell down, this huge one here, this completely filled. Like I've never seen this high. This is a walkway where you could walk around the entire side of the lake. Like they would literally have a drive mower go there. There was a bench here where you could sit and look at the lake. Another down tree here. Wow. That tree right there, over there. Roads completely flooded. So this is like literally down the street from us. And these roads are wow. completely Good thing he's got a raised truck. <laughs> that guy's barreling through it. Oh my gosh, look at that. These people got a pump going, you hear it? They're trying to pump the water out of their, out of their yard. I bet they did. Hey guys, so we are so thankful to be safe from that storm. It was a wild ride, honestly. At some points it got pretty scary, but we had all the proper precautions. We were ready for it. And you know, I feel like I'm very blessed that we came through it the way that we did. Um, we were looking at a lot of the damage on social media and we saw a lot of people didn't make it out as well as us. We had friends in St. Pete that lost their house to flooding. We've had people that, are, that their the trees fall on their house. So, you know, all said and done, like we were super grateful, super blessed to have made it through. Um, just continue to say prayers for everyone in Florida. And we love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.